Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your eighth SAS tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk you through the different math operators we have available to us in SAS. Okay then dudes, so in SAS we have available to us the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division mathematical operators. I'm going to talk you through these and do a couple of really simple examples in this tutorial, then look at doing something more complex in the next tutorial. So right now you can see here these LI tags in the navigation. I've given them a width of 14%, but instead of just saying I want these to be 14%, I could pass through here a mathematical uh, equation if you like to work out the width. So I'm going to do that in some brackets and inside the brackets I'm going to do a simple equation. I'm just going to say 40 pixels um, times, that's the asterisk, 2. And this is going to equate to 80 pixels. So now if I save this, then each one of these are going to be 80 pixels in width. Now don't ask me why the hell I'd want to pass a width through like this. This is completely random. I wouldn't do this. I'm just demonstrating that we can use these different mathematical operators. So if we change that to division and save, then each one of these is now going to become 20 pixels in width. If we change it to a plus and then make this 20, just so the effect is a little more noticeable, then save it. These are going to become 60 pixels in width. And if I change this to a minus, these are all going to become 20 pixels in width. All right. So let's do something a little more worthwhile because that is absolutely pointless. I'm going to save it at 14% again. Now, currently, this is how it looks. But what if I want these links to take up the full room of the navigation? All right. The full 100%. And I want that room to be shared equally to each different um, element. So what I could do is work out how many elements that are in the navigation and then work out what percentage I'm going to need for them to be equal in length and take up the full amount of space. But instead of me working that out, I could let SAS work that out. So I could do a simple formula and say 100% divided by however many elements are in this navigation. Now there's six in here, so I can just say divided by six. It's going to work that out for me and it's going to space those equally in the navigation. So that's a little more cooler. All right, so let's do something similar with these things down here. I want to style those up. So I'll come down here just under, in fact, I'll come under these things right here. Okay, and then I'm going to add some styles for these bad boys. So if we take a quick look in the HTML, we know that this section right here has an ID of services, yeah? So we want to grab that first of all. So let's go into the CSS and we'll say services like so. And we're going to nest some styles in here. Now, each one of these is an LI tag. So we'll grab those first of all. We're going to nest that in the services. And we want to float each one of these to the left. And we want to give it a box sizing of border box. And that's just going to take into consideration the padding when it works out the width of these elements. Okay, it's not going to add extra on for the padding or anything like that. Next, I want to say text align to be center. Okay, now then down here, I'm going to target the image tags, these things. And I'm going to say image width is going to be 60%. And margin is going to be 20 pixels top and bottom then 20% left and right, because then 20 for the left, 20 for the right, that's 40, plus 60, so that's our full 100%, yeah? Okay, cool. Now let's target these anchor tags. So again, we'll just nest an A in there, and then we'll say text, decoration is going to be none. Um, then I'm going to give them a color of the deep blue variable that we um, declared right here in our variables, this thing, okay? And then what I'll say is font weight is going to be bold. And then I'm going to give it a pseudo class. I'll say and hover using the ampersand that we talked about. And I'm going to give this a color of red for now. Okay. Then we'll save that. In fact, I want to do one more thing. And that is grab the UL like that. And I'll say and ampersand. After, in fact, I won't do that. What I'll do is just say at include, and we made a mix in. If I open up this mix in in one of the previous tutorials to clear the floats, so we'll just include that thing right there. So let's go here again and we'll say include clear fix like so. Okay, 
Then what I'm going to do as well is come under here. In fact, we'll do this at the top and give this a margin at the bottom of about 60 pixels. All right, so let's save this and see what it looks like at the minute. That's what it looks like currently. Now, there's more of a gap on the right than there is on the left. So I want these to be spaced out equally again. So the way we're going to do this is by applying a width property to the ally tags, much like we did with these things up here. And again, I'm going to make SAS do the calculation for me. Just in case I change the amount of elements I add here, I can just do a simple calculation instead of working out all the percentages myself. So I'm going to say width again in parentheses, then 100%. And this time there's just three elements. So I'm going to divide it by three and save it. And there we go. They are spaced out much more equally now. Okay. So that is how we can use mathematical operators in SAS. I know these are two really simple examples so far, but I wanted to introduce you to them now so that we're ready for the next tutorial where we're going to create a grid using uh, mathematical operations, which is a bit more complex. So if you have any questions so far, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.